Once we've chosen a control device, and we know what gadgets we want to control, we now need to determine how the control device will communicate with the gadgets. For starters, we have to make sure that both the control device and each gadget can understand each other. Typically, each control device and gadget has its own unique communication language. To get them to understand each other, we need a piece of gear in between them called a processor. Processors act as interpreters so that all the control devices and gadgets communicate seamlessly. Now that all the control devices and gadgets can understand each other, they need a way to send messages back and forth. We do this in two basic ways, with wires or with wireless technology. Most home automation systems use combinations of both methods. Systems that use wires are called hardwired systems. They can be separated into two categories, low voltage and high voltage. Low voltage wire is typically used to carry signals like audio, video, voice, and data. High voltage wire is used to power things like lights and appliances. Some home automation systems offer power line carrier technology, which uses high voltage wire to move automation system communications around the home. This can be a cost-effective way to provide automation since the communication infrastructure is already in place. We can also send commands around your home via a wireless method, which are becoming much more viable as these technologies evolve. While using a hardwired network is still preferable for absolute reliability, wireless technologies are catching up fast. Check out the Tech and Spec page of Home Automation Hound to learn more.